partisan consideration is secondary. And so that's how come I was elated and excited when I heard the group of 80 MPs saying that we are doing what we are doing because of the demands of our constituents. Their constituents said they should come out to openly say they don't want to work with Ken Oferiata. Has this particular view of the constituents been varied? Has, has that view changed? If the constituents' view hasn't changed, then partisan imperatives or partisan instructions cannot be used to torpedo the views and position of constituents. MPs are first servants of their constituents before their political parties. And so what the party has done, stampeding these MPs who previously demonstrated some braveness, forcing them all of a sudden and making them to behave like cowards. It betrays a certain fundamental misunderstanding of the concept of representation in democratic governance. It is the party doesn't understand what representation is about. And that's how come they would want the partisan position to be superimposed on the constituent position. And so this is a clarion call on all constituents if your member of parliament came out openly to articulate your concern, and now he is pandering to partisan dictates, teach him a lesson. 